this transformer flashed over just in the process of taking the AC winding off and I want to use this as a low voltage winding for the testing the meter it's important when you cut this be careful you don't uh, where's my saw blade here oh yeah there that you don't hit the 240 volt call or 120 for the US there you go That's good, that uh, winding for the other thing you can get rid of. Interesting, that looks like an aluminium HV winding. Haven't seen that before. Normally copper, but that's aluminium, by the look of it. I'm going to punch that out and I'll see what we find. Interesting. I haven't seen this as aluminium windings. Really cool. Well, not cool, copper is better. Try to get the shade out, see if I knock this out with some blonde, something blunt like this. Oh, oh there we go, I lost it. It is sliding down. Bear in mind when you have this on the vise. Um, I got it sitting so it rests on the steel. Don't drop it on your toes because that would hurt. Lost that screw, but in the Hazelmeyer stem I used it. It's coming out. I have to try the other side. Both segments have moved. It's coming out here slowly. The thing is when you hammer it, it tends to uh, spread, so it jams up sometimes. Got it's pretty stuff. It's got a bit of lubrication in there. Help it a little bit. See if it makes it easier to get these uh, coils out. Hold this in and use a pliers too, just in case I hit myself. I don't want to do that. Okay, so you never know. Yeah, it's very light. It's aluminium coal. First time I've seen these in aluminium. Made in China, probably. And here you can see the shunts. There's these laminations. And the winding for the heater, for the filament. For the magneton. So I've got the coal removed. Not too fast, but at the moment I used a 240 to 24 volt transformer on it. Almost dead short on the meter and I controlled by the Vario. I want to put less burden on, so if I get three or four turns for some flexible cable, I may use this, got some of this street light cable. Three conductors put them in parallel, only need three or four turns, so it's not critical. I'll try that out, see how it works. A bit of a bodge job, but um, I put three turns, I know it's oversized insulation, but I don't care. Hook this up to the meter and I want to see if this is going to run uh, better so I don't have to stress the variac out as much and uh, and the actual, uh, well that transformer was running bloody hot. It was probably only sitting on a few volts, 20 volts in and then whatever on the dead short on the meter. So we'll see if this makes the meter run faster. So we're going to analyze that shortly. We're going to energize the device. The 
the variac is cracked on what it was before. So we'll see it may go either the wrong way or it goes the right way. Not much, nobody home there. Why isn't it working? I may need to crank the variac up. Oh, it's going forward. Sorry, the phasing is right. It's good. We're going to crank the variac up and give this meter some speed. Activate electrons. Release electrons from the meter. Should go faster. There we go. Fantastic. It rolls over to 242900. Transformer doesn't go up in smoke. That's good. I need to get a clip on the meter. See, oh, we've got the variac at 50 volts on the microwave transformer. So I'll show the visualization on device 5. That is this rough Westy style connections and then just some 1.5mm heavy duty cord. Now let us run for a wee while. I need to monitor the temperatures, mainly of the variac. I don't care about the cable. I haven't touched the variac. I'm going to plug it in, see how much it is. This is 1 amp meter, 400 equals 1 ampere. Oh, the variac sits at about 0 0.75 ampere, that's good. And that meter flies, I'm happy with that, that's very good. Uh, the ratio I need to calculate out, so it's probably about 40 ampere guns in the secondary. Fantastic. I'm